Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am having another play with my cool as birthday gift. Um, and if you haven't seen the, um, the my first play with it and an explanation about it and how it works and all that stuff, uh, there will be a link at the end of the video to that video. But um, pretty much it's a pancake dispenser and you just press this lever and it lifts up the stopper and lets the stuff out and how much paint do we want to let out today <laughs> um, so last time I just did two colors this time I'm going for four and I'm just gonna have a, a little play um, and I've got some green and some purple, no, blue, sorry, my mistake. And some black and some white. If you want to see how I mix my paints, there's a link in the description to a video on that. Um, I just use flow troll and water. And now I'm going to go a bit bigger on the quantities. I don't need a lot of paint. I'm only doing a 8 by 10 canvas today. But I do want to use up the last of this paint because it's been sitting around for a while. So this is Prussian blue, if you're wanting to know what colours I'm using. Um, and this is Meadow Green from Reeves. Gonna have a bit more green than we have blue, but it's alright, it's no point leaving half a teaspoon of paint left in the bottom. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more white. Just around those two colors not on the black because I really don't want to go gray okay so there we have it let's zoom in to show you so that's the cool thing about this pancake dispenser is that it's conical so it should all just drain down the sides um, there's no silicon in any of these paints and zoom you back out again so you can see the canvas. <laughs> right, so last time I just did a centre spot. This time, um, what I thought I'd do is um, a, a travelling spiral across the centre. And let's see what that creates. So... You ready for this? Need a bit more to come down to this corner and the cool thing about this is it comes with this little stand so when you're finished you just plonk it, plonk it in that um, and I, it cleaned up really easy it's stainless steel so um, I have put a link to a similar one in my Amazon shop so have a look down below for that um, so we have got a little bit of lacing happening but as I said there's no silicon in this just flow troll and water and paint so I'm gonna take it over to oh I'll tell you what I need I need a corner catcher. If you guys haven't come across corner catchers before, really useful. Just get a piece of cardboard, bend it into a corner, 
and then lay it on that corner there and it stops all that paint on the sides falling off before it gets to the corner. And I'm going to bring it this way next. And we're just going to let it slowly move down the canvas. So we want some paint down here before we tilt over to the side. Just like that. Holding on to it by my pins underneath, which is what keeps it from sitting flat on the bottom. And so we don't have to touch the sides. Just going to take it to the last corner. And then bring it back. There we go. We've got stripes. From doing circles how's that get? <laughs> and I like it I do like it a lot it's not too much green not too much blue the black didn't like blend with everything and go psycho <laughs> Oops. Um, I like it I like it a lot so let's just pop any air bubbles This is a butane torch covered in paint, but it's just a little fire torch that you can refill. So it's easy. I like that. I'm not even going to touch it. You know why? Because that's cool. Almost got a nose and a chin, back of a head and an ear poking out there. Can you see that? I like it. I like the lacing that's all stretched out through here. And I reckon this could make a very cool material pattern. So remind me when I'm editing to show you what I do when I take photos <laughs> um, and play with it on my apps all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that go wash out my leftovers uh just i hardly got anything come off the side although you could probably get a funky little cabochon out of that let's do that eh let's just move that over grab my stick with blue tack on it Once again, if you don't, if you've never seen me do this before and you want to see me do it, there's a video in the description underneath this video that will take you through the process. But I'm just going to dip that in there, pick up that funky look. Got a bit of paint on the top side, but that's alright, that'll clean off. And look at that, that's fun, isn't it? I like that. Alright, so I'm going to leave those two to dry, and I'll be back really shortly to show you the dry result of both of those. 
and what else is possible? I adore you guys. Have fun. And I will be back in three, two, one. Well, here she is. All dry. Didn't it look just like the same thing? Just <laughs> not quite. It has like the colors do darken as with any acrylic pouring situation. Your colors are always going to darken. Um, especially if you're using Floetrol or PVA. They look white when they're wet and they dry clear so these will always darken up and but I still love it I still think it's beautiful and I am just really really pleased with it so um here's a few of the things I did with it on my magic little app on my phone All right, so now let's have a look. I um, dipped some cabochons um, and let's have a look at them. There's that one. I really like it. Almost looks like a alien eyes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, I love it. So bright and green and I know you guys thinking that have been with me for a while ago. I'm Michelle, it's green and you said I love it. I know, isn't it weird? I even bought some green material the other day and was like, oh, I'm looking forward to wearing this. I was like, oh, what's happened to me? No. <laughs> and this is the other one. Um, I actually had to put some extra black around around this I feel like it looks like a woman dancing or prancing or some let's get it so that you can actually see it without the window shining in it um you see her with her blue hair and dress out the back and long legs and I don't know I like it maybe go up the other side way what would happen that way oh it looks like a big bug <laughs> I like it though. It's got the contrast of the black and the white and the pretty blue and green. And How's it getting any better than that? Alright, so there you go guys. I enjoyed it. I had fun and who would have thought drawing circles would give you straight lines? Not me, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, for those of you that saw my post and saw that mum had been in hospital again, she was only in for three days this time, not three weeks, which is really exciting. Um, and she is improving fast, which is exciting to hear. Um, so, although I'm now back in Rotorua, I have been banned to an inner city apartment for the weekend because my husband and his friends from all over the country are convening for a computer gaming weekend at our house. Um... So that's cool. I can't paint, but I can sew. So I'm taking my sewing machine and my serger, and I'm going to go and sew some new clothes, have a bit of me time, maybe even get my nails done. Who knows? Because they're looking pretty long and uncared for. This one got cut by the knife the other day, so I was about to get the UV resin and just glue it together again. <laughs> anyway, my dears. I hope you are all safe and well and enjoying life, even though life is a bit different than it used to be. How much fun can we have anyway? The more fun you have, the healthier your body can be. I adore you all. Thank you so much for coming to play with me. And I will paint as soon as I can. I may even go live this coming week, as long as the world doesn't throw any more spanners in my works. I adore you, have fun, and I will see you all super, super soon. Bye-bye.